Hey what's up guys, Matt here with Acoustic Selection, I hope you're doing well. With this video I want to talk about the Christian mindset. This is very very important, I want, I want to make a few points that I hope can help you in your Christian walk and in your day to day life. And I'll tell you what gave me the idea of this video. Yesterday I had a dentist appointment. It was a two hour appointment they were doing a root canal. And so when you're laying there on that dentist chair for two hours you have a lot of time to think about things and kind of uh, ponder video ideas such as this one. But I thought about the importance of the Christian mindset and you've heard it, you've heard me talk in past videos about a great great verse in Romans 12 2 where Paul says be not conformed to this world but rather be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I want to talk about how can we renew our mind? Can we really transform our lives by having a different mindset than the world? As I lay there in that dentist chair, here you're going through all this pain, they're, they're picking at you, they're, they're numbing you, they're sticking you with needles, your mouth's open for so long, and you're going through so many things. And all I thought about for two hours was, thank you, Lord. What a blessing that I live in a country that I'm able to have a situation like this that can help my teeth. What, what a blessing you've given men and women knowledge to know this sort of thing. What a blessing that we have technology they can see these kind of things and prevent things uh, from being worse in the future. What a blessing that I have finances that I can afford insurance that will help pay for this for this uh, situation with the dentist. And all these things went over and over my mind and I was kind of reiterating and bringing back to myself positive things that was helping the situation that would ordinarily be bad be a good thing because I saw the blessing in all of it. That's how the Christian life should be. We should have such a clear view of the promise and the hope we have in Christ Jesus that we absolutely should have a different mindset than every other person around us. Too many times I think we're guilty this day and age that if there was a way to cut open the Christian mind and the non-Christian and we looked at them side by side I feel like often they would look very similar when they should look just absolutely vastly different because the Christian has this hope and a future that, that the non-Christian just cannot possibly have. We know ultimately after death that we have the victory. We know like it says in John I think 15, in my father's house are many mansions. If I go to prepare a place for you I'll come again that where I am ye may be also. So we have that hope. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. He says, I have came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus said, John 3, 17, I did not come send my son to condemn the world. Jesus said, I did not come to condemn the world, but through me might be saved. And there's just Bible verses after Bible verses after Bible verses that talk about this hope we have in Christ. Not necessarily what he's going to do one day, what he's already done. The second we receive him as our Savior, our mindset, mindset should be totally different than a non-Christian. We should have a sense of peace and, and joy and fulfillment and a reason for the day, a reason to live that, that, that's just almost unexplainable. You know, the Bible talks about we should be in the world but not of the world. And truthfully, our actions in our life should seem foolish to the outside world if we're doing it right. Because people should look at our lives and say, how do you not worry about anything? You just don't seem to get worried and you say, well, well, I'll tell you why. Because I serve a God, it says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and called according to his purpose. I know in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, if I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not in my own understanding, in all my ways acknowledge him, that he's going to direct my path. So why should I worry? Like David said, fighting Goliath, the battle is the Lord's. If I truly believe that, if the Bible says, I came to give you a hope and a purpose, Joshua said, as for me and my house, we, we will serve the Lord. And you could go on and on and on. If we really, really believe that, then our life should look different. The Christian mindset, we can do like we, I mentioned earlier in, in Romans 12 too. We can be transformed by renewing our mind. Now here's the key part of this though. How do you have those scriptures, like some of those scriptures I rattled off? How do you have those? You have to study God's Word. 
The primary way God speaks to us is through His Word. The primary way He will transform my life, He will transform your life, is through just revisiting, revisiting, and revisiting, and reminding ourselves of the Word of God. So spend time today in God's Word and get that Christian mindset that Christ desires us to have. You know, if we want to be a good witness, I say all the time, if you want to fill someone else's cup, you first have to have yours filled. You can never witness for God and be what He wants you to be until you're filled up yourself. And you fill up yourself by just going over and over and over the promises you have through Christ Jesus. And you know He was the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first, the last, the author and perfecter and finisher of our faith. Like it says in Hebrews. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. But the Christian mindset has to be one built on the gospel. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. The gospel, the good news that Jesus Christ left heaven, came and lived a perfect life, an example for us, and ultimately died on a cross, taking our place. Love you guys. Got any message? Shoot, got any questions? Shoot me a message. God bless you.